Hello there, I'm Matt Wynn, one of the creators of Cucumber School, and I'm here to answer one of the most frequently asked questions that we receive from Cucumber School students, which is, how do I download the code for this episode? So in fact, we keep all of the code um, that we change throughout the videos in a Git repository. This script repository, which is public, and you're welcome to come and have a look at it, contains a series of branches, one for every chapter and language combination. And in that branch, you can see all of the changes that we make through each individual episode. But getting hold of this initial commit, which is the start point of the episode, if you want to follow along, involves a little bit of uh, quite complicated Git, um, Git commands. So in order to make it simple for you, we've written a little script to help. So if you visit this Cucumber School student repo, you'll find here a little command that you can copy and paste. And this is going to help you to download the code for a particular language for a particular episode. So let's give it a go. If I head over here to my terminal and I'm going to go into the uh, documents folder. I'm going to make a new directory for Cucumber School. Let's go into there. And now I'm going to run that script. So I'm just pasting in the code that I got from GitHub. And you'll see here that the tool has started up and it's explaining what it's going to do. It's going to set you up ready to follow along with the coding examples from Cucumber School video series. So it's going to create a folder below the current folder we're in. So you want to make sure you're in the right directory before you start. So let's choose a language. I'm going to do JavaScript today, so I'll choose option three. And I've been working on chapter nine, which is option seven here, because not all of the chapters have a, um, have a coding example. And then it's automatically guessing what folder we're going to want to um, create here for, for this, this version of the code. And that's going to allow us to have um, multiple folders one for each chapter um, and, and for each language. So if you wanted to follow along the same chapter in different languages, each of those would come out to come down to a different folder. So I'm just going to go with the default here and press enter. Now it's running the cloning and great, it's done. So it says here the start point for the code from chapter nine of BDD with Cucumber JavaScript has been cloned into this folder and it's a little Git repo. So I can type Git log and I'll see there's nothing in here, right? Because I'm just at the initial commit. But it does also say that if I do git log reverse answers, so there's an answers branch. Let's just do git branch, try and spell branch, git branch minus L. We can see that there's a start branch, which is where I am now. There's also an answers branch. So um, if I wanted to see all of the commits that are in the answers branch, that's the actual commits that we made in the video, um, we can use that command. And you can see here the each of the commits that we did during the video. So if you've watched this episode already, um, you might remember, for example, where we created a custom world. So let's have a look at that commit. So you can use git show and the shower of that commit to show you exactly what we did during that commit where we just added this um, these lines to the end.js file. So this is hopefully going to help you to stay in step with what's happening in the videos. Obviously, you can watch the videos too to copy the, the coding that we do. But you'll find that wh where you're at right now um, is you're at the start point. So if I open a, an editor, we can see I've got the, the feature files, just as we see in the, in the videos. And, and all the source code. And in fact, either from that terminal or from, from within my, my uh, editor, I can start to follow along with the video so I can do an NPM. I'll need to do an NPM install first. And then I can do NPM test. And we see the test running just like we do at the start of the video. All right. Well, I hope that's helpful. As always, if you have any questions about Cucumber School, me and the other developers of the video series are ready and waiting for you in the Hash School channel in our Cucumber Community Slack. So I look forward to hearing your feedback on this little tool um, soon.